Fox News confirming that the FBI has fired controversial FBI employee Peter Strzok. Strzok is the employee outed for sending anti-Trump text messages while serving as a lead investigator on the Hillary Clinton email probe and during the special counsel investigation. This is Outnumbered and I'm Melissa Francis. Here today, the host of Kennedy on the Fox Business Network, Kennedy herself. Host of the Intelligence Report on Fox Business Network, Trish Regan. Host of the Evening Edit, also on the Fox Business <laughs> Network, <laughs> Elizabeth McDonald. And joining us on the couch today, Steve Hilton, host of The Next Revolution, which is not on FBN. But it should you, be. You are and wildly outnumbered. <laughs> you are the author of the soon to be released book, Positive Populism. And he is outnumbered. I, anything positive right now should sell yeah. like hotcakes. <laughs> and I he's think a it's great so. writer. Oh, Thank you. Ah, yeah, that's such absolutely. a nice thing to say. Yeah. I love your monologues. I can't wait to read the book. I've got a little <laughs> warning for you all. So uh -oh. I left my contact lenses back home in <laughs> California. So if I start calling you Trish or yeah. Kennedy, that's the reason. I can sure. barely you can see anything. My glasses, yeah. And I can make funny faces at you and you'll never know. No idea. And you'll have no idea until you watch it back later. All right, sounds good. Should be a fun show. Now that the FBI has fired Agent Peter Strzok, his attorney slamming the agency in a statement saying in part, quote, it is a decision that produces only one winner. Those who seek to harm our country and weaken our democracy, the FBI and the American people deserve better. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge is live outside the trial of former Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort in Alexandria, Virginia, and we are awaiting the start of day 10 in that case. Lots of news, Catherine. Break it down for us. Well, that's uh, that's right, Melissa, and thank you. So about an hour from now, uh, the court will reconvene in the courthouse behind me in the Eastern District of Virginia. And we're expecting the government, or the prosecutors, to put on at least one more witness uh, before they wrap their case. This is a senior banking official from the Federal Savings Bank. He was part of the loan committee, and he'll know the ins and outs of the $16 million loan that Paul Manafort secured in 2016. The big news, though, this morning has been confirmation that FBI agent Peter Strzok has been fired for cause by the FBI. And that decision was made, according to a statement from Strzok's attorney, by the deputy director of the FBI. And the allegation in the statement, and this is significant, is that the deputy director overruled the finding of the FBI's internal disciplinary body called the Office of Professional Responsibility, which according to the statement had recommended uh, a suspension of 60 days and a demotion, but instead the deputy director elected to fire Strzok Friday afternoon. Now, Strzok's attorney, as part of that statement, it states, the decision to fire FBI agent Peter Strzok is not only a departure from typical bureau practice, but it also contradicts Director Ray's, so that's FBI Director Christopher Ray's testimony to Congress and his assurances that the FBI intended to follow its regular procedures in this and all personnel matters. This decision should be deeply troubling to all Americans. What's key here is that Agent Strzok is kind of at the intersection, the nexus, he is the common link between the Clinton email case and the Russia investigation and the one other person who also held that sort of dual-hatted role, who was really in a decision-making position, was former Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. And now both of these individuals have been fired for cause uh, by the FBI. Just as a footnote, a Strzok's uh, attorney says that there's never been any evidence that his political feelings directly impacted the decision-making in the Russia collusion case. But you know from that very public uh -huh. testimony, there were many Republicans on the Oversight and the Judiciary Committee just, just felt that that was a bridge too far and that there really was evidence that some of his decisions were driven by politics, Melissa. Catherine Herridge, thank you so much for that report. You're I welcome. will uh, bring it on out to the couch. Let me start with you. I mean, so he's me finally fired. <laughs> yeah, not you. Uh, yeah. Um, Peter Strzok finally fired yeah. after having been escorted out a while ago, so it was probably news to some people that he was even still on right. the payroll. What do you think about this? I think um, on my reaction, and I suspect a lot of other people's, will be about time too. That's great. But I think there's something we should be careful about also, which is the danger that the establishment, the FBI and others in, in, in power here, think of this as some kind of sacrificial offering that will make the whole 
issue of the establishment's role in trying to stop Donald Trump getting elected, and then once he's elected to try and undermine him, mm -hmm. all go away. Because it wasn't just Peter Strzok. He's not no. the only one. This is not some rogue agent. There's something deeper that's going on. And so while I think we should be happy that this has happened, we should continue to press for a deeper investigation so this of is the just whole system. The tip of the iceberg. Um, you'll remember the testimony was very tense when he got up there in front of Congress. Let me, let me remind you of a little bit of it. And Kennedy, I'll ask you what you think on the other side. I don't appreciate what was originally said being changed. I don't give a damn what you appreciate, Agent Strzok. What does Trump support smell like, Mr. Strzok? Sir, that's an expression of speech. I clearly wasn't smelling one thing or the other. Mm. I mean, oh, and it that. wasn't literal. That means there was no he bias wasn't at all whatsoever. Or, yeah. And he didn't have a negative view of Trump supporters or then candidate Trump. Uh, it's, it's very interesting because... I, We'll see what this does to the Mueller investigation. Uh, look at the number of people who have been excused from the FBI because of their involvement in this investigation and the overlap between the Clinton email server investigation right. and the Trump Russia investigation. They are now gone. Yeah. And I, I'm wondering, is there a connection between the people who have been uh, exercised from the organization and the more investigation does yeah. it somehow undermine it i know we're also watching what could be the end of the manafort trial right and if there is a connection in the manafort trial so far between the president and some sort of russian collusion and is this leading us somewhere because i think steve is absolutely right peter struck's head is not enough and it's taken too long but it's nice to see some accountability yeah. because we haven't seen that yeah. in any of these other investigations. And Emac, just to remind our audience, I mean, the reason why we care about Peter Strzok, one of the many reasons, is because he's the one that turned the investigation from the Hillary Clinton email server at that pivotal moment, and he actually wrote the memo that opened the investigation into Russia collusion, right. which brought out the Mueller probe and all of that. This person with his bias that we've seen through these texts, who was fired for cause and now is gone for good, is the one who set all that in motion. A lot of, you're right. And he, the rewording of the gross negligence down to the unactionable extreme recklessness mm -hmm. uh, term. Uh, you know, there are five other individuals, the inspector general said, that displayed bias toward Trump still in the Justice Department. We don't know who the other ones are. Uh, what was striking to your point was, you know, when he said, we will stop him. Remember, he couldn't oh, yeah. recall that mm -hmm. sending that text. And all of a sudden, he did recall, we will stop him. And then made like, the, we, will, we met the eponymous, the American people. Mm -hmm. Nobody believed that. Right. What was really striking was in, right. in 2016, even before Hillary's opponent was named, he, Peter Strzok said Hillary will win one million to, one million to zero. That was even, he had her winning even before Donald Trump was named as her opponent. Uh, and he oversaw both the Hillary Clinton probe, email probe, and the Russia probe as well. Yeah. Trish? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the bias is pretty obvious. It's pretty blatant. Uh, it's pretty disgusting to see. I, I say, great, I'm glad you got rid of them. But why didn't this happen way earlier? Why did it take this long? I mean, think of the destruction that we have had in terms of our beliefs in the fairness right. of our system. Think of all the damage those texts did, right. his bias did to us. I mean, the smarter thing would have been to get out ahead of this months and months and months ago. Instead, we are now in a situation where the American people do not trust yes. the FBI, and it's in part because of this guy, Steve. I'm, That's a, that just it's so powerful. If they'd have got rid of him at the beginning and said, this is not acceptable. You can't have someone in a role like this who has such clear political bias um, getting involved in a political case. That would have given people confidence. But it was the, exactly the opposite. That's a well, really Well, he was taken point. off the Mueller probe when they discovered the text. But then you remember the texts weren't revealed for so long. It took the IG in order to find them and turn them over. It wasn't enough and when they were doing the, the investigation. And the IG didn't have access to right. them. Right, he did. Demand it. All right. Meanwhile, Senator Lindsey Graham renewing his calls for a second special counsel to investigate the FBI and the DOJ over their handling of the Russia meddling probe. He is specifically targeting DOJ official Bruce Orr, who has been subpoenaed to testify before Congress later this month. Graham takes issue with Orr having been involved in the initial phase of the Russia probe while his wife worked for Fusion GPS, that is the opposition research firm the Clinton campaign used to get dirt on then-candidate Donald Trump. Watch. 
Both campaigns were investigated by the FBI and Department of Justice in 2016. When it came to the Clinton campaign, she got a pass. The criminal investigation of the Clinton campaign was a joke. When it came to the Trump campaign, it was corrupt, it was biased, and I think unethical. Mr. Orr should not have had, had any role in investigating the Trump campaign because his wife worked at Fusion GPS. So, Steve, this is kind of the collusion we don't hear about. Yeah. It is so much more direct. When you have somebody who's working inside the FBI who hires the firm that his wife works for to hire an a, uh, a, a English spy to go out and then mingle with the Russians and come up with this dossier, that's incredible. There's money changing of hands. Course. There's people from the FBI. It's insane. Right. And, and, and that's why I, and there's more than, than what you've had time to list there. I think that Lindsey Graham is exactly right about this. And it goes to the point that we were discussing earlier. Everyone's confidence in our governing institutions. Because at the end of this Mueller probe, whatever happens, you can be sure that roughly half the country will think it's completely biased, it's cooked up by the establishment, they won't have any confidence in it. And that the, the other side of the equation, the Hillary Clinton side, just got off without any investigation. And unless there is an equivalent process mm -hmm. on the other side, this country will not come together, there will not be confidence. You've got to have this second inquiry that's equivalent in status to what we're seeing going on with Trump. You know, you would hope that Mueller would be looking into all sides, right? But if you look at the Rosenstein mandate, it specifically says to look for collusion in the Trump campaign. Well, what about the possibility of collusion in the Hillary yes. campaign, given everything that Melissa just laid out? It seems to me... And it's not just collusion. It's <laughs> not sorry, good it's, it's if the you're role actually paying the, for stuff, too. The role of the FBI, the Department of Justice, and other institutions of government in potentially trying to subvert an American election. And I'll tell you, when you that's, talk, that's, right, that's really serious. That's the key. When you talk to the career uh, FBI officials and the veterans, they are really upset. They don't like what's happening to the bureau at all. And you know, you got to wonder when Peter Strzok said, uh, talked about the insurance policy, was that the dossier? Because Peter Strzok did say in testimony that yes, the FBI got access to that file. So yeah. I don't know. It's just it, it, if you swap out the word Trump, put in the word Obama or any other mm -hmm. Democrat, they would be pretty upset. Let me tell you about the President Trump just tweeting, of course. Um, on the Peter Strzok matter, saying Agent Peter Strzok was just fired from the FBI. Finally, the list of bad players in the FBI and DOJ gets longer and longer based on the fact that Strzok was in charge of the witch hunt. Will it be dropped? It is a total hoax, no collusion, no obstruction. I just fight back. Kennedy, um, I mean, here we go, President tweeting about it again. I, I guess you go back to, though, the matter of Bruce Orr as well. They want to see his tax between him and his wife, who was working inside Fusion GPS. What could those say? Because on one hand, the, tr the tr uh, texts we've seen have been insane. Well, I don't but only want to see the, the text between them, because obviously they're married. And, yeah, and some of them could, could say be anything. pretty saucy, and some could be very boring. <laughs> like, right. you know, get 1% this time. <laughs> and that's the whole milk, yeah, right. Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I also uh, am curious about the relationship between Bruce Orr and Peter Strzok. Yeah. And if you remember when Michael Horowitz, the IG for the FBI and DOJ, when he sat before Congress, he pretty much said Peter Strzok is still very much under investigation and, and this is a, a different track mm -hmm. we have taken. So I'm curious if his firing has anything to do with, with further mm -hmm. investigation there. And, you know, Bruce Orr going before Congress, I think that's a very good idea. And his yeah. wife as well. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they obviously played vastly different roles. There are a number of people in Washington uh, who are married or are partners and they work in different areas of government and you know perhaps there's crossover but you know emac is absolutely right when it comes to influencing the outcome of a presidential election that's when it is unethical and not okay and if you're the president and you're sitting here and you're watching another person meet the guillotine you you have to wonder if your exoneration is around the corner yeah um and we haven't heard from Bruce Orr yet, and that's what was so interesting about when we finally got Peter Strzok out there in front of Congress, is you want to hear these people and see how they're saying what they say, mm. because Peter Strzok was, he was defiant, he was almost yeah. belligerent at times, he seemed, you know, very entitled, and it kind of gave you a lot of the sense behind the text. Yeah, even though the IG said he showed a willingness to take action against right. the pres president, right? Yeah. So, I can't get over, you're, you're absolutely right, though, I cannot get over his attitude. Yeah. Watching that, I mean, do you remember watching was, that and yeah. thinking he is not helping He's totally himself. shameless yeah. about what he'd done. Yeah. He didn't get anything wrong with it. Yeah. Amazing.
No. All right, the White House and the president responding after former White House staffer Omarosa drops more of her secret <laughs> recordings. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> the red flags they say are raised as the former Trump advisor takes aim at her former colleagues. Plus, what the president is tweeting about this now. Is General Kelly running this country or is the president running this country? 